I'm Tracy. Welcome to my channel. Do you suffer from low back pain or just a sore low back? Perhaps you even have sciatica. I put together a sequence today where I have combined, as usual, yoga movement with Chinese medicine principles. The purpose of it is to find some relief for the lower back and also bring you back to balance. Please join me on the mat here and if you find this beneficial, please do subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that we may practice on a weekly basis with new videos. One thing is for sure is that if you are experiencing acute pain or any sort of achiness or something that's just really not feeling right in the practice, please do stop or pull back significantly. And as usual with most uh, practices of any kind, um, the more that you do, the better. So I encourage you to take this practice and if you like it and you're finding a benefit of it, that you do it more than once. Uh, three times a week is a charm, um, but that's your, your choice and of course your practice. So we're gonna start on the mat on our backs. I want you to come to a nice comfortable position on your back. So just ease on down to the floor. Okay, so I'm just easing myself down to the back. When my back is on the mat and my knees are going to be hip width distance apart. So we're gonna just start with the knees hip width distance apart and taking one, two knees into the chest for a really great hug. And anyone that's practiced with me in a yoga studio knows that I always like to say, whenever you hug yourself, say something really nice to yourself. So if you're dealing with a lot of pain right now, that big hug to yourself should be of love and care. So just honor, respect the body. And as you hug yourself, maybe you can say, I love you, I care for you, and we're gonna get better, meaning you and your back. Okay, so just rock from side to side. And when we do this, we're warming up the channels and the body and the back. I'm just giving it a little love. Think of it as a little massage. Okay, now of course, we're always connecting breath with movement. So with your intentional breath, you're thinking about taking with your mind that breath all the way down to the area of tension, which is right back here. So as you breathe with your hands and press down into the floor, I want you to just breathe into your belly, inhaling and exhaling. So as you breathe, you are expanding the belly, inhale and then exhale. And when you do this and you are completely relaxed, you may find that your pelvis is starting to tilt. So I want you to move with that breath. So you will inhale and then exhale. Inhaling and exhaling. So we want you to start drawing the belly right on down to the earth. So the pelvis starts to tilt up, okay? And then as you inhale, the pelvis will start to tilt forward and you'll find a little space back here. So I'm inhaling and then exhaling. Releasing, inhale and then exhaling. Now I want you to breathe in, drawing that belly down to the ground, and then exhale, start to lift the hips nicely up to the sky. Feet are pressed into the earth, hands are down to the ground, and then you're gonna gently lower the hips back down. Come back into that dog tilt where the tail turns down. Okay, we're gonna breathe in, drawing the belly down to the earth. The hips begin to lift up and go with that motion. Breathe out, lift up. Inhaling here and then exhaling, lowering down gently. So we're gonna continue this. We're gonna breathe in gently to the belly and breathe out, lifting the hips up. Try to direct the pubic bone and knees toward the front. 
and then we're going to gently lower back down. So in this case, it's not higher is the better. It's just putting gentle movement into the spine, strengthening the area, but also putting nice fluid and breath. We're going to do one more. Inhale and exhale. Come on up. And inhale and then exhale. Come on down. Well done. Now bring your knees back into the chest for that really lovely squeeze, big hug to yourself. Excellent. Now lowering the legs all the way down to the ground. I want you to reach your arms all the way behind you to lengthen the spine all the way out. And with that nice conscious breath, you will breathe in through the belly again. Reaching a little bit more and then exhaling. Again, we're gonna breathe in deeply, lengthening out the spine and then exhale. Well done. Now lower the arms down, bring the knees into the chest. One more big squeeze here rounding the back up, seeing how that feels, and then slowly bring the feet down to the ground, roll over to your right side. So I'm gonna roll toward you, but this is my left, the opposite of right. So roll over to your right side, use your hands in front of you, press yourself up. We're gonna come on up into tabletop. So whenever we're in tabletop, we always wanna make sure the shoulders are stacked right on top of the wrist, the hips stacked right on top of the knees. And whenever you're in this posture, really find your stance and kind of get into those hips. So whenever we have lower back pain or tension, the hips are always very tight. So we wanna go back and forth here, gently from side to side. And when we do that, we're going to breathe. So inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Well done. Now from here, just to even it out, we're gonna go front and back. And then just go a little bit more for, further forward and then all the way back. Find yourself into child's pose. Melting your head relaxing your face, softening into the hips, and see what it feels like to wiggle those hips just slightly from side to side. Taking a deep breath in and out. Now I want you to slowly come on out back to that tabletop and just lowering down to the right side, bring your hips to the right and swing them gently over to the left come on back up to center. I'll do that again. Back down to the right, over to the left, come on up to center. Okay, so we're doing this with breath. Inhaling and exhaling. Come on back to center. Let's go to the other side. So we're gonna go to the left and then swing over to the right. Nice and easy, nice and slow. And whenever we're breathing with this, I want you to direct that energy and really good, healthy breath, positivity over and down into the lower back region. Okay, so one more, inhaling and exhaling. Come back to center, lower back into Balasana, your child's pose. Nice deep breath here, in and out. Now slowly, gently press yourself up into cow pose. So be gentle here, softness in your tail, relax the belly and open up the chest. Press your hands down into the earth, spread your fingers wide. And exhale, let's breathe out, let's draw the belly in, press into your hands, lift your belly up, rounding the back, softening and relaxing your tail. We're gonna do that again, breathing in and opening up the chest to cow and exhaling, rounding the back to cat. Okay, we're gonna do this a couple more times, breathing in, putting gentle flexion in the spine, softening, breathing out. 
And one more time, breathing in, opening up the heart, tail is relaxed. Same thing here, breathing out. Now chest is going up and in, belly going up, tail is still relaxed. Breathe out. Come to flat back, melt again into child's pose. Breathe out. So depending on how the body feels, maybe the wrists are kind of feeling funky. So we don't want any sort of other areas of the body to be tight or sore. So just give yourself a little bit of a wrist roll here with conscious breath in, out. Now slowly press yourself back up into that tabletop, making sure the shoulders are stuck on top of the wrist and the hips are right on top of the knees. From here, we are going to do engage our belly muscles to strengthen our spine and our lower back. We're gonna take the right arm nice and parallel to the floor and then extend the left leg out. Engaging our belly muscles, lengthening our spine, top of our head reaching to the front of the room. We're gonna breathe here in, and then I want you to round the back out with the breath into little mini cats. We're gonna do that again. So we're gonna inhale, lengthening out, really reach and lengthen. Exhale, round the back, belly up. Again, breathing in, lengthening out. And exhale, rounding the back. Okay, place that knee, lower the hand down. We're gonna do the other side. So again, drawing the belly in, spine long. Left hand out, right foot is reaching back. Inhale, long, tall spine. And exhale, round on up into that cat pose. Inhale, lengthening out. Think about putting space in the vertebrae and strengthening that lower back. Breathe out. Inhale, lengthening again. Breathing in. And exhale, round the back. Well done. Lower the knee, lower the hands, and then melt into that lovely, delicious child's pose. <sighs> Take a nice deep breath here. Inhaling and exhaling. Well done. We're going to slowly come on up. Now I want you to step the right foot between your hands. So the right foot is going to come right on in here. Whenever we're in a low lunge, our knees on top of the ankle and the back knees behind the hip. So this pose actually, if you can, it may seem a little bit... Um, counterintuitive, if you will, because we're opening up this space. But when we open up the tendon here, it helps to release some of our hip. Also, when we widen our stance, it's gonna to help to open up our sacrum and the back of the body. So when you're in this posture, I want you to see if you can take this right foot and just widen it a little bit. So I'm gonna to go toes out, heel out, and then I'm gonna take both of my hands on the inside of that foot. So it's kind of like we're doing a little bit of a yin posture here. We're melting, putting a little bit of stress into the joints, into the spine, into our hips, so that we may naturally release that beautiful synovial fluid, hyaluronic acid. These are these natural fluids in our body that help us to feel limber, and lubricated. So we're gonna just melt here and be nice deep breaths into the body and send it all the way back into that area of tension. So we're gonna breathe in and out. And I always have these handy blocks, of course, in my studio. So if you have a block or maybe it's a cushion or something supportive, you can use this to prop yourself up so nothing is too much for you. Nice deep breath in and out. Well done. So we're going to remove the block. I want you to take those toes and heels. So you're going to inch them back, back to center. And from here, take your hands down, tuck those toes under, just lengthen the back of the leg a little here, opening up the psoas, that nasty tendon that runs from the chest all the way down to the, almost to the, almost to the knee. 
and it's just breathe into that space. Inhaling here, and then exhale, lower that knee down, lower the toe, and then let's draw the belly in, lift up the hips to gently do half monkey pose, which is kind of like a runner's lunge. Ardha Hanumasana. So we're gonna draw the belly in, lift the hips up, micro bend in the front knee, rounding the back and melting here, breathing, softening, and sending that breath to the back of the leg, into your hamstrings, and also into the back area of the body. One more breath into the lower back, inhale, and exhale. Well done, we're gonna bend that front knee and then slide it on back, come on into child's pose. Ooh, yeah. And I'm gonna wiggle my hips from side to side. So of course, it's your practice, your yoga. It depends on what you wanna do. You don't have to wiggle. You can stay straight. But let's just take one more breath here. In and out. Well done. We're gonna slowly come on up and let's even up the body. So now we need to step forward with that left foot. And we're always gonna notice, how does this side feel versus the other side? Maybe you are, you do have one grumpy side versus the other. So be careful, be good to yourself. Um, maybe grab that block right away if you have it. I'm gonna place my hands on here. This is kind of the grumpy side for me. I'm gonna scooch toe to heel outward. So I have more space. I'm widening that space into the back of my body. And I'm gonna consciously breathe here. We're gonna breathe in and out. Again, inhaling and exhaling. Well done, we're gonna take the hands down. Okay, and then we're gonna scooch those toe and heel back to center, placing the left hand on the outside of that foot. Let's tuck the toes under, really lengthen out that back leg, opening up that psoas, so that nice tendon right in here. Ah, we're gonna breathe in and out. I want you to send that breath right into the psoas, so right into the front, and then also into the back. Inhaling and exhaling. Ah, lowering that knee on that breath out. Lower those toes. Now drawing the belly in, squaring off those hips, noticing how maybe the hamstring is tighter or not as tight on this side. And then rounding your upper back and melting forward. So breathe here, nice deep breath into the body and releasing with your breath out any tension that you may be feeling. So again, drawing that belly in, slight micro bend in that knee. We're breathing out, releasing tension. Well done, we're gonna slowly bend that front knee and then slide that foot back into that delicious balasana, child's pose. And then maybe you're feeling a little more loose here. I'm going to wiggle my hips from side to side, taking a nice breath in and out, and then I'm gonna stop, melting my face, shoulders, whole body down into the earth here, melting, most importantly, your sits bone over your heels to come opening up the hips. Nice deep breath here, please. Inhaling and exhaling. Well done. So now I want you to slowly engage your belly muscles anytime you're coming on up. We're going to peel ourselves back up and then now we're going to come onto our bum our sits bones, swing yourself around, and let's find ourselves all the way back down onto the mat, preparing for a spinal twist. So we're gonna come onto the back. Yes, that feels good. 
We're gonna plant the whole torso onto the floor. And I'm gonna start with both knees into the chest because these nice little hugs to ourselves just positively affirm that we just are doing something wonderful for our body. So we're gonna stop at the center. If you are rocking from side to side, I want you to breathe in and then exhale round the back. Big hug, big loving energy to yourself and to the lower back. And then releasing. So from here, just take your arms out in a T position. See if you can place your feet hip width distance apart. And from here, with the knees up to the sky and the feet are pressed onto the floor, hip width distance apart, or maybe a little bit wider, I want you to lower the knees down to the right side. And just melt here for a moment. Notice where you're feeling. Maybe you're starting to feel something in the hip, in the lower back area. And of course, we're always practicing um, honoring our body, which is called in yoga, ahimsa. So I want you to just melt to the right side. Come on back to center. Breathe in, and then we're gonna lower to the opposite side, the left side. So there's no right or wrong to where the head needs to turn. It's wherever the neck feels comfortable. After all, we really are just working on our lower back. So we always want to send intention and breath to the areas of tension. <sighs> well done. You're going to come on back to center. This time, maybe bringing the knees a little bit closer to the body. And then arms are going to come back out and we're going to lower them down again to the right side. So when you have the legs a bit lower, so down here, let's say, you're really kind of working on the hips. When we are bringing the knees a bit closer to the chest, you're gonna find that you're working more on the lower back. So I want you to try to do both if you can, because it allows you to just work on all areas of the body that are kind of holding the lower back space. So when you're in these twists, it's nice to breathe into the belly, and of course, we're intentionally sending the breath down to the lower lumbar area. Okay, come on back to center, inhaling. And then exhale, let's go the other side. So again, one side's always grumpier than the other. And if you're doing this at home, and let's say you're not doing it on the video with me, then try to practice on the grumpy side first. Always putting more care to the grumpy one first. So let's breathe into the belly. And let's come on back to center. Great. Now I want you to bring the right knee into the chest for a big hug, lowering the left leg down. And then using your left hand, let's just help and support it. And let's bring that right leg over to the left side. The arms can come on out. And the same thing here, same thing applies. I want you to breathe into the hip, into the belly, and into the lower back. Inhaling and exhaling. One more time, inhaling and exhaling. Come on back to center, well done. I'm gonna lower that right leg down and let's take the left knee into the chest, big hug. Inhale and then exhale, let's lower, using the right hand now, supporting that left leg, left hip, and left side of the lower back. And again, consciously breathing into the belly, into the hip, and into the lower back area. Moving the head wherever it wants to go. Nice deep breath here, in, and out, inhaling, and exhaling, great. Now come on back to center. We're gonna bring both knees into the chest for a big hug. And now I want you to roll over to your right side and using your hands in front of you, press yourself up into 
a nice seated position, okay? So on this nice seated position, I want you to bring your feet forward where your hips, um, feet are hip width distance apart, okay? And from here, I want you to just gently rub into the lower back, okay? So this is where we're adding the Chinese medicine principle of creating balance in the body. So we've kind of moved and stretched the body with some yoga movements. But now we're gonna add a little bit of just pressure and gentle massage into the areas of tension. So now I'm rubbing into the lower back, but then I want to just press gently down onto the sides of my body. And then I want to just slowly come on up so what I'm doing is I'm kind of articulating my spine, but I'm also warming up the channels. This is my kidneys in the back, which is where your lower back is. And then we're gonna breathe out gentle pressure on the outside of the legs and then on the inside. And if it's more comfortable to bend the legs as you do this, then please do this, okay? Because we want those lower backs to be super happy. We're gonna breathe in now, and then breathe out. And inhale, you're gonna come on up with gentle pressure on the inside of the legs. So what we're doing it now is just kind of activating the yang and the yin meridians of the body. And we're starting off with rubbing the lower back, the lower lumbar region, and the meridian here that we're working on is our kidney and bladder channels. So we're gonna rub, and we're gonna breathe in here, and then breathe out and breathe in. Okay, so we're gonna do two more to close our practice. Inhaling, exhale, breathing in, and breathe out. Last one, inhaling, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Roll those shoulders back, well done. Close our practice today with the intention of healing our lower backs, finding love and care for the lower lumbar. Let's place our hands together. Take a nice deep breath and send that beautiful healing energy to the lower spine. Nice deep breath here. Inhale and exhale. Thank you. Namaste.